How you doing? Well, I don't know. I'm having paid. What's the story? Tell me the story. Well, Dr. Stackniak said things went very, very well. They took out your C5 vertebrae. It hurts to swallow a little bit. Does it hurt to swallow? It I does. imagine. They went in front and you have a drain. And she said things went very, very well. They were able to get in and clean up a whole lot that they, uh, that they couldn't get to before because of that vertebrae when they took out C5. And she said things couldn't have gone any better. And you did great during surgery. And she's expecting a great outcome. Well, of course I did great during surgery. They kept my big fat mouth shut with medication. <laughs> I couldn't annoy them. <laughs> okay. So nothing bad, no problems. Everything looks good like it should. Yep. Nothing okay. to eat or drink for a while. Okay. Till you get a little more conscious. And we just want you to rest today. How long was I out? Um, you were in surgery for about three hours. Okay. Okay? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, yes. All right. Good morning. How are you today? Good morning. I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay. Um, it's been 24 hours since um, I had the, the surgery. and Dr. Stackniak did a great job. The original pain that I was feeling and uh, weakness that I was experiencing uh, have all disappeared again and so that's good but I am having quite a bit of throat pain from the incision and the uh, relocating of all the organ systems in my neck so the pushing of this of the esophagus and the pushing of the trachea over and all of that uh, that was done is uh, quite painful so um, that's what I'm feeling now I'm having difficulty swallowing um, difficulty uh, taking a deep breath so um, I've been working with the inspirometer, and I'm gonna demonstrate to you all how to use this thing because a lot of people use it incorrectly. But basically, uh, you inhale, and you get this little device right here, this little blue with a button. You wanna keep it between the arrows and uh, get the big slide to go all the way up to 4,000. That's your goal. So I think you can see through it okay. So we'll give this a try. If you go too fast, then you won't get the full inspiration of your lungs because it takes more time. So if you go too slow, you won't get you won't get to the target. All when right? you suck in, you don't blow into it. No, you don't blow into it. You inhale. It's not really a sucking. It's not a mouth. Yeah. It's inhaling. And this just keeps your lungs uh, fluid free and when you're not moving around as much and keeps you from getting pneumonia and things like that while you're more sedentary look at you go yeah so you want to get that all the way up and um, and I'm able to do that and so I do this uh, a couple of times or three times an hour and it's preventing uh, mucus from uh, from building up in my upper trachea or lower trachea or lower respiratory system at all but unfortunately though um, my darling dealing? wife is gonna have to drive me to work for a while I'll do what I need to do, babe. You'll put me in an Uber, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll drive that, you. Oh, no, you're so awesome. Um, but anyway, so things seem to be going on target. Um, I appreciate so much the prayers of uh, those of you that uh, have prayed for me. And uh, uh, I'm getting better. And I, uh, I'm, I'm excited to be getting better. I really am. So thank you so much. All right. I'm not feeling very good. I feel pretty sore, um, having some neck pain, and uh, kind of tired. I uh, had some itching from the morphine that I got earlier, so I took a three quarters of a Benadryl, and I think that's contributed to my drowsiness. So I'm uh, taking a little nap, but then we just found out that a regular room has come open, so I'll be able to come out of the ICU and go into a regular uh, hospital room. And get real clothes on. And get dressed the rest of the way, and that's right. And uh, hopefully it's a, it's a larger bed that doesn't have all of these articulations in them, but again, it may, we don't know. Good morning, how are you this Thursday morning? Um, uh, according to the staff, I was a little grumpy last night. You were grumpy when I left last night. I was a little grumpy. I was having some pain, but not too bad. I had to work with some nurses last night, show them how to do pro uh, proper blood pressure readings. and. Oh, they loved that. Yeah, I'm sure they did. And, and several other little things they were doing wrong that just needed my attention. <laughs> 
for the betterment of all mankind. <laughs> yeah, selection of the correct blood pressure cuff prevents enormously, erroneously high blood pressure readings. And uh, so I worked with a couple of nurse aides, plus I had to teach uh, uh, teach a few of them how to use the inspirometer, which is the device. Why don't you bring that over for me? I'll show, I'll show that. I think I used it on the Yeah, you, did, it, yeah, you okay. did a whole thing yesterday. So I had to show everybody, because they, they were like, we've never seen anybody use it right. And it's like, this is very important. See, now when I... When I use the inspirometer, I'm able to bring up mucus, so I'm preventing pneumonia, and I'm getting better oxygenation to my body, and I'm, I'm up like this morning, we were walking around, went down with the DW, and we got, uh, uh, we had, uh, I had oatmeal, it was good. I had coffee. I had some coffee too, so. But um, I'm feeling like, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, my doctor is gonna come and see me, and uh, we check the drain, and my little drain is only putting out about seven and a half cc's every 12 to 18 hours, which is, uh, Pretty physiological and it's a straw color so it's a good color so I think uh, it's doing all right then uh, it's doing all right from that standpoint so I'm um, hoping uh, we can get the drain pulled and just put a bandage on there and I can go home with some prescription medications to uh, help prevent infection and uh, some prescription uh, steroids to help uh, prevent uh, inflammation and uh, that's what I really am looking forward to today but if she says no another day then it's no another day Okay, Smiley, turn that thing around and let everybody see. You've been my such a great helper through all of this. Whoops, how did I turn it around? Whoops, the camera's this way. Okay. Yeah, that looks great. Okay. You look beautiful. You're sweet. See, how all can right. anybody not get well when they have a DW like I do? Oh, you have right. to have a great DW. That's sweet. Well. And I love you, and I'm ready for you to go home too because you're really giving the staff a hard time yesterday. Well, I'm actually doing pretty well, guys. I, I just want to thank everybody for your prayers and, and your concerns and, um, you know, everybody that, that's kind of been with us. And uh, this, was a, this was a fairly big ordeal for me to go through. And, um, you know, it helps to know that there are people with you and that care about you. Uh, the best DW in the world. Um, just had a really rough week, got back and found out that uh, I lost one of my fish and so that was, you know, I had to deal with that and my koi pond was a mess. I just uh, kind of got things going well there again and thank you all for being with us and um, I hope this message finds you well. and. We, we keep moving on, right? We keep doing what we got to do. So thanks again. Okay, guys. Hey, good morning. It's uh, Saturday. I think it's the 4th, isn't it, baby? Yes. All right. So, um, I think this upcoming Tuesday will be two weeks since uh, my neurosurgeon, Dr. Rebecca Stackniak in Plano, uh, did a marvelous job of helping me recover from severe cervical disability. And I've been wearing a hard collar for going on a couple of weeks. Um, looked around for my tripod this morning, couldn't seem to find it. I think your daughter has it. Well, she can have it. So the DW is going to help me this morning. It's time to remove these stereo strips because they're itching me like mad. Take that one little stitch out too. And there's a stitch in there that needs to come out too. If you all remember the old video, last time I did this two and a half years ago, it was the Gons that took that out. This time I got the DW. And my hands are clean, but I'm not going to wear gloves since I'm married to him. Well, I don't know about that. You're, you're kind of scary. And my instruments are clean. And I, Look, you know, there's no reason I can't take care of my patients. My, my work is with my mind. And most all my patients are so wonderful. They understand that I, what I'm going through, and they love me. And, and a lot of them, they just, they just want to know that I'm okay. And I just had to say, look, if, I'm, if I come across a little bit too aggressive or forceful or whatever it's not it actually looks really good does it really yep okay that's what i want to be sure just had to let them know i love them and we're going to get through this together and they were just fantastic there i think all my patients what about that top up there is that is that on okay right there well you have to push it down on the hair a little bit right there video i got the guns you got me looking at the grass picking on the grass driving yeah. on the grass picking me up i can't drive so I had the, you heard an Uber, and you, and, and you heard a Gons, and we have 
Gonzuber. <laughs> no, I'm not a Gonzuber. <laughs> You're my Gonzuber. <laughs> I'm triple charging you. Man. <laughs> uh, get triple charged every time. I'm just used yes. to it. <laughs> what is it, Wednesday? Yes. Oh, can I show the baby bump? Yes. Oh, where's the baby bump? Oh, it's hard to tell. You got. Oh, right yeah, there. that shows it. Woo! How many months? You got six months down, three to go, about, right? Six and a half, two and a half to go. How are you feeling? I feel great. He kicks a lot. He kicks a lot. Did he yeah. keep you up a lot kicking last night? He did. Oh, okay. Ooh. It's okay. Well. It's okay. I gotta check my face now. You, you, look at my face! Uh, you have a neck brace. I have no excuse. It makes me feel like I've got a mushroom for a head. I'm so sick of this brace. But what, this is proof, I don't know, at least this is proof I'm being a compliant patient. Let me just say, folks, if your doctor says, please wear, don't hit that man. Don't. I wasn't going. Yeah, I see that man all the time. Don't run him over. He's a nice man. <laughs> I'm not running nobody over. Oh, <laughs> please, if, you're, if your physician asks you to do something for them, like wear a brace, do your best to do it. Usually there's a reason for it. In my case, I think my doctor just thought it'd be a fun gag. Hey folks, you spoke and we listened. Here's what you had to say about Meta7. I love it so much. It gives me so much energy during the day. I've noticed a change in my hair, my nails, my blood pressure. There's no doubt that it, it's, it's a benefit to me. It gives me more stamina. And it could actually help you lose weight. Now, I haven't taken a nap in six months. That's right, Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I used it to help wean myself off caffeine and energy drinks, and my productivity has been very high lately. It's natural, it's amazing. I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day. I've worked 12 hour shifts. I just go, go, go all day. It makes me feel great. I love it. And um, take it, it's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description. Are your nails and skin looking dry from the summer heat? Does your hair seem brittle and unhealthy? Well maybe it's time to check out Coco Skin Plus. Coco Skin Plus is a custom blend designed specifically by Dr. Gilmore to restore your hair's shine, protect your skin from the elements, and make your nails strong and healthy. Let's hear from a few of Dr. G's fans. I started taking Coco Skin Plus about six months ago, and since then I've noticed a huge difference in my skin. It's softer, my hair is softer, and it's grown so long. I don't know if you want to zoom in. My nails have definitely gotten stronger. And finally, my hair is actually looking normal. Thanks to this, actually. Now available on Amazon with a dramatic price cut, Coco Skin Plus is only 50 cents a day. So stop waiting, order now, and experience the results you've always wanted. There's an Amazon link in the description.